the first Chicken Run movie way back in, in 2000 when it came out was so just really inspiring for me. So the chance that I had to go and spend a few months working on the sequel, Chicken Run Dawn of the Nugget, uh, was just kind of a, a, a dream come true. So I, I was on the film for about four months. I got to do just a handful of shots in that amount of time. The trailer just dropped. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm going to watch it and do a live reaction. I have no idea if, if I have any shots in the trailer, but I'll watch through it. And then I'm going to go through also, and I'm going to name every animator who did every shot in the trailer. Anyway, let's uh, check out the trailer. Last time we broke out of a chicken farm. Ooh. Well, this time... We're breaking in. It's an impossible mission. Fire. Only the small matter of this electric fence. <laughs> the camera-driven gun-toting moles. And the laser-guided exploding ducks. <gasps> that place is impenetrable. Yeah, and you can't get in neither. Okay, everyone. It's go time. It's all right. I went before we left. Now you've had the appetizer. Time for the main course. It's her. Welcome to the future. <laughs> nice, that was a good trailer. Uh, the, seeing, seeing the final effects is really cool because it looks really good. And I don't think I had any shots in this trailer. Doesn't it look cool though? Yeah, I mean the lighting. Sets look so good. It's always exciting seeing a, a, a teaser come out when, when you've worked on a movie um, and uh, you hope that people get excited about it and want to go see it. So it is, uh, it's coming out December 15th on Netflix. So just, uh, you know, mark it in your calendar. Go watch it. Watch for my name in the credits. <laughs> Don't you just love stop motion? I just love stop motion. I love these rat characters. There's, there's so much to the story, and I just can't tell you about it. Um, but I'm really curious to know what you guys think. What do you think of the trailer? What do you think of the way it looks? Uh, do you have any theories? But yeah, what, what do you think? It's a little weird giving like a reaction to uh, a trailer when I already know what the movie is. Like I've seen the whole movie, other than kind of final special effects and stuff. So it's like, I don't know, it, it is a little weird to sort of react to this trailer um, because the story's not... Like, I, I, I know what the story is, but I'm really curious what you guys think, what your like impressions and thoughts are on this, on this teaser trailer. Uh, if you have any like theories, ideas. So yeah, I wasn't sure if they were going to reveal that Mrs. Tweedy was in the movie or if they were going to save that as a big like surprise when you were uh, at the movie. Um, but I think it's kind of cool that uh, they did reveal that in the teaser. I did a few shots with Mrs. Tweedy. Animators who had been on the film a lot longer than I was on it, got really good at, uh, well, working with the characters that they were working with. But look at the, just the movement on her mouth. Like, I feel like her mouth animation here is so good. Got a little ease there. And Ardman is, is kind of cool about fingerprints you can see like a little hint of a fingerprint there they love to just kind of leave in little bits of you know fingerprints every once in a while it just kind of leaves that human touch on the puppet yeah see there if you look just kind of below her lip right there there's a little bit of a little bit of a, a fingerprint there which is cool her eyelids so when you're animating her you'll have a, a series of of eyelids to work with and so then as you know as her eyes are going wider you're like pulling off these eyelids and replacing it with the next one replacing it with the next one you might do a series of like three or four so the 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 eyelash the black the like the eyelash part is like a hard it's a hard piece and then it's the blue part that is clay and then the black part is like a hard it's a hard piece 
for me, it was just really cool to get to work on this movie. I really, you know, I only got to do kind of a handful of shots because I was only on it for a, f a few months. But uh, it's just, it really was like a dream to go work for Ardman for a few months uh, just because, like I said, the first Chicken Run was so inspiring. And so the chance to get to go work on the sequel to a movie that was so inspiring to me when I was younger uh, it was just kind of crazy and awesome. And uh, just the, the people, the other animators, getting to see all their work was just inspiring and it kind of pushed me to work in a, a different style take me out of my comfort zone a bit uh working with the clay you know took some getting used to but that ended up being like really fun and um yeah it was just it was a cool experience being there at the studio and you know made a couple good friends anyway i just i had i just had a very small part uh but it was awesome to get to work on it i hope you guys like it when it comes out and what i wanted to do now actually i wanted to like give credit to all the animators who have shots in this in this trailer so i'm gonna go back through i'm gonna play the whole trailer again but i'm gonna add the animators names who did each shot as it plays we'll name as many as i can and then if there's any errors or corrections or if i got anything wrong i'll make a note of that down in the um the video description okay so here it is again with names of the animators who did each of the shots last time we broke out of a chicken farm oh. well this time We're breaking in. Oh. It's an impossible mission. Fire. Oh. Only the small matter of this electric fence. Oh. The camera-driven gun-toting moles. And the laser-guided exploding ducks. That place is impenetrable. Yeah, and you can't get in neither. <laughs> okay, everyone. It's go time. It's all right. I went before we left. Now you've had the appetizer. Time for the main course. It's her. Welcome to the future. Mm. 